spiraling may sound like something out of control, but these trees and shrubs look put together, or they will be in a second. <laughs> We've got our own Edward Scissorhands, Chris H. Olson here to teach us the art of spiraling. And I know you gave me some tools, but I, I brought your own little you proof for a you. We'll, uh, we'll yeah, that. <laughs> we're going to make this into a spiral. We don't have a lot of time, so we're going to okay. quickly try to go through it. This is what most evergreens start off with. You know, like before they're made into spirals, they okay. do not grow into spirals. Oh, okay, darn so, it. so when you do you buy pay one, a more for well, that? the problem <laughs> is when you buy one, no one trims them and they lose their shape. You gotta right. trim them. Okay, so this is what you do. Okay. So we're gonna first wrap. We call it wrap the wrap. It up. So we tie it from the center, and normally, depending upon the size of the evergreen, almost any type of cone-shaped evergreen will work. This is Alberta spruce, which really works because it's nice and condensed. Okay. You're usually going to divide it. You wrap it like a candy cane. You're going to divide it into three to four sections. Okay. And you want to start off a little bit tighter on the top and let them get wider as you go down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, just like decorating a tree. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 you know what? I never thought about it. It is. Okay, so we're going to do this. And then we just put this back in here so you don't even have to cut it. Okay. Now is the hard part because it's hard for us sometimes to take away the original shape of a plant. Right. So we get our pruners. And this part is what stays in between is what goes. So you're going to start to go in the middle and just start cut out all so that really area. It really is Edward Scissorhands. So I anything am. in between or what goes? Yeah. So I'm going to okay. leave this as the top layer. Okay. And you're going to go all the way down to the trunk. Oh. And it's really kind of fun. You ever watch the movie Karate Kid? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's say envision what you're doing and then just do it. What you all see. Right. So I'm doing it. So you're just going to go all the way around. This is giving so, me um, nightmares of when my mom cut my hair once <laughs> and we just kept cutting. You know, my dad cutting. used to cut my hair. It was a disaster. Oh, yeah. My the... mom finally brought us to the barber. She said no. <laughs> no <laughs> so you, you see, we're starting to go all the way around. And this oh, literally. It smells so good, too. Doesn't it smell like Christmas? Oh, yeah. This takes literally probably 15 minutes to do and you can create it. So as you can see, we can start seeing the shape. Okay. Now, once you go around and around and around, you're going to have the middle part. Then you take this off and then you're going to go ahead and take scissors and just go ahead and snip it. Okay. To round it off and that gives it the great shape. Now, you got to think about once you're done with this, mm -hmm is, like we said, keeping it that way. Right. So I always trim my spirals with scissors, okay. nice sharp scissors. And if you trim about three times during the growing season, which is normally April, you know, all the way through mm -hmm. fall, then they will always stay condensed and, and keep their shape. But once so you stop- So this next section you would do is this yep. one right here. So okay. you, do, you do that, and then we go down to this section and we remove all of this. Got it, okay. And eventually you will have a candy cane spiral. Love Jennifer, it, I love it. For so a lot cheaper price. Spiraling out of control. Spiraling. This is a little bit more <laughs> in control spiraling. Thanks Chris, Thanks. he's back with us in just a few minutes. You're watching THB 11 this morning.